If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a new reading vlog, another sad, rainy reading vlog. It's been like that for weeks at this point and it's not looking like it's going to change. So yay. With that said, I have some fun books uh, that I would like to read. The first one, no, no, Charlie, you can't eat that one. He loves eating the books. Um, this is the first one I would like to read. This is the Apollo Murders, which I have been wanting to read more books uh, in space where someone in the spaceship is the enemy. And I read Six Weeks years ago and that one was cool. At least the concept was really, really cool. And this one was recommended to me as something similar. And it's also part of the Goodreads Trust Award, I believe, from, from last year. So I wanted to try it. All I know is Spaceship, like I said, and it is written by an astronaut. So I'm hoping that things will be accurate, at least. I'm not expecting too much writing style wise because he's an astronaut, but he has written nonfiction about the topic. And I believe I have one on my shelf. So eventually I do want to read that one too, but this is actually our Patreon book club pick for the month of June. So want to try it at least, uh, but I'm sure I'm going to finish it. I have heard good things from some of you that have already finished it. So hopefully I enjoy it too. Uh, I feel like I've had it rough with sci-fi sci-fi lately so we'll see how that goes in audiobook wise why women have better sex under socialism and then bottom and other arguments for economic independence <laughs> i have not started yet the audiobook is like five or six hours but i have been wanting to read more nonfiction, and every beginning of the year that's what i do or i've been doing for the last two years i go in my library with a website and i check all the nonfictions that they have and add a bunch of audiobooks on my waiting list and this one was there. I haven't seen anyone talk about it, but like that title, I, ha I have to know, I have to know. So I only have a few days left, but since it's so short, hopefully I can finish it. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm starting with. Um, we'll see how that goes. I might pick up something else throughout, we'll see. And I, yeah, unfortunately, Mama Cat has been attacking her babies nonstop since she went to the vet. So I think it might be, is it non-recognition aggression? I don't think it's just because she was trying to wean them off. So it's not looking good. Uh, she's currently in the basement. She has been in the basement and she will stay in the basement because every time she's out, she attacks them. Not like hurting them, but like attacks them anyway. So it's been very stressful. I'm gonna try to do more of the tricks that I've read online. If you have any recommendations, uh, let me know because I'm desperate. I tried the whole like feeding under, you know, next to the same door. I tried rubbing a blanket. I will see. Uh, I'm gonna try the blanket thing again and like maybe treats next to each other or something. I don't know. But Claudia, if you bite me one more time, I will bite you back. <laughs> How am I supposed to be mad? She's purring. Um, <laughs> she's so evil. So yeah, that's the that's the stress at the moment. So uh, she's biting the cables. We're gonna end the intro here. She's the worst. She's honestly the worst. Um, so yeah, I will show you what's going on this week. But right now you can just enjoy the beast attacking everything and everyone. <sighs> I will see you later this week. Are we playing? Uh, got your got your news? Is it the game? Oh. She noticed the camera. I tried to sneakily record her. Didn't work. She loves looking at herself. You're made for the camera. You, you done with my nose? She was doing it, it was cute. Update time, I did not update you the first night nor the second. We're day three, but I haven't read yet today. Uh, I'm at page 159, chapter 24. Um, and it, there's a section where they stopped talking about Baby? Claudia? Since when do you meow this loudly? It wasn't Claudia, that was so chunky. Um, he was crying at the door because his mom is in the basement because she's been attacking them still. I feel like it has improved a tiny bit. It's not as soon as she sees them. But I tried to like open the door to see how she would act and she tolerated them for like two minutes and then she started again. So she's doing it right now. Anyway, um, the book, Gases. <laughs> I'm assuming this is where the section of like the author being an astronaut. I didn't think about gases. I feel like if you fart, I guess, yeah, everyone is st stuck smelling it, but that's not the portion. It's the fact that apparently they expand because of the, the, the pressure, whatever. I didn't think about that. So yeah, um, 
it's not the fact that they stink right now it's just the the science behind it that is interesting i would have thought about i've never read a book that mentioned it so that's cool uh otherwise the writing okay i wanted to talk because oof. hi chunky are you traumatized by your mama anybody else feels like it's kind of dated i don't know if it's because i think it's the 70s whatever it's the whole u.s russian stuff um and i didn't expect a book that to be about that it feels already very military for my taste i'm very worried that this isn't going to be my thing now um but yes by the dated writing i don't mean just because it's set at a certain time but hopefully someone relates but it reminds me writing style of the books that i would read that my parents had in the basement that's what i mean by dated like i don't know how to explain it the description maybe again it's the whole military thing is kind of feeling very dry for me so i think i'm gonna go and pick up a second book second flip-flop um yeah yeah I, I have to at this point because otherwise it's gonna put me in a reading slump because I, after i've read like x amount of pages that i would set myself and it's just day three um i feel like i want to read more but i feel bad not reading this because i have to so i think i'm gonna give myself you know read x amount of page every day and then you can switch to the next one so let's go pick the next one Oh my god, I made the mistake of leaving the book on the couch to go choose the next book. Um, guess what happened? Charlie got a hold of the book. Of course he did, and he chewed the crap out of it. So this is his face right after the fact. Um, clearly guilty, you can see it. Um, <laughs> I'm sure some of you are going to be like, justice for Charlie in the comment section. But that stinky little bug ate another book. So yeah, um, I'm excited for this book, <laughs> but I need to learn my lesson. I'm so used to just leaving the books wherever, but I need to put like a pillow on them or something every time because they eat them. So I'm gonna hope for the best with this one, but this is the follow-up after uh, my brilliant friend that I read last year. This is 100% a summer book, by the way. So that's why I waited until now. I wanna binge read the series and it's kind of a contemporary historical fiction. A friendship between these two girls through their whole lives. And yet yeah, they're from a small neighborhood in Italy and they seem to be kind of frenemies. But I don't I don't think that's the right way of saying it. I think it's just the complexity of female friendships and like the struggles of being a woman, you know, in that setting. So so far, book one was great. The ending was so that's why I really, really need to continue. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Read this one, then flip to this one once I can't deal with the whole military descriptions anymore. And hey, three books. If I can finish three books, I will be so happy. So yeah, that's the plan. Let me show you the kittens. So this is the guilty beast, Charlie. Look at him. That face is like 100% guilty. <laughs> Justice for Charlie. Um, <laughs> look at you. Yeah, you're being so sweet after eating my book. You must be so sleepy after that. That was, you know, a lot, a lot, poor baby, right? He has started to become very, very uh, cuddly. He likes me more, finally convinced him. And I don't know if it's a coincidence that mom can't stand anyone, so he can't cuddle her anymore, so he cuddles me instead, but I don't care if I'm the second choice. I will take it. This is the other beast okay nervous um what did you do what did you do what are you trying to go for oh, aha aha is this what you want no she seems upset now that thing has been eaten i'm gonna need to go and get you some more toys you're so pretty evil but pretty look at this precious baby <gasps> did you just meow Oh my god. He's so close to me. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts. Oh my god. Okay, you both don't fit on me. <laughs> oh my god. I can't deal. People were complaining Chunky wasn't very present in my last vlog, so here he is. Purring. <laughs> Charlie is becoming so cuddly too. <laughs> oh my god, guys. You're too close to the camera. <laughs> I can't do this. You both don't fit at the same time on me. 
like oh my gosh so this is this is my life on a daily basis they just fight whose turn is it oh my gosh whose turn it is okay wait chunky lost you lost baby charlie's bigger than you that was a big yawn that was a big yawn you've become so cuddly too he's huge by the way don't look at the feet <laughs> he's so huge look at him so big so big and so handsome but he has no neck but look he has no neck i've been trying to show you he has a huge head and he's so skinny you can't really tell like this but he's so skinny stop eating my food now you see what my life is like it's always chaotic here um they're just fighting to cuddle usually they, they learn they become one by one but <laughs> it was all at once right now i was actually looking at pictures of them as, ba as babies actually we're gonna come back to that because a few people are still struggling to distinguish the two boys which me too at quick glance it's hard um but i wanted to show you charlie is fur is so different he's really like his dad uh it's shorter and like so shiny and so soft it's really pretty but he has no neck <laughs> like i tried to show you in that clip and i had tried to take tried to take pictures and no neck that's i was struggling for weeks to figure out why his head was so funny to me and it's also because it's huge and he's so skinny it's just so such a weird combo and like chunky is the opposite he's the only one with body fat he has a belly, which is like adorable. And before someone comes out for me and tells me to stop feeding him dry food, he's the only one that doesn't want dry food. Did I mention that? Hi, Charlie, you can come. Um, I, I've managed to make him eat some, so he won't starve if I don't have any wet food available or something, um, shortages and everything. But he, he just demands wet food. He'll jump on the counter when it's his time, so. Anyway, um, I have a video of them on their first day. They weren't even 24 hours old. And I was reminded of the fact that they were like this from the beginning. Because I couldn't tell them apart in the beginning, right? But one of them was struggling to latch on and basically being a bully and like dancing. And that one had a huge head. And it is Charlie. Look at the clip. <laughs> I have to remind myself that they are blind and deaf because... My dude, you are struggling. Oh, of course, go and steal from someone instead. And the front one, so nice, not bothering anyone. <laughs> and don't pity the, the third one. He's not the victim. He's now officially the chunkiest of all three. So it was him, which is so funny because now he's so unproblematic, except for the books. And actually this morning, um, he decides to study Spider-Man once in a while, and it's so annoying. Because I'm afraid it's going to rip or like it's going to fall and they're going to escape, you know? Um, clearly, they give me anxiety. <laughs> but yeah, he looks adorable, but uh, he's getting heavy, so it's a bit much. And yes, Chunky with the tiny head, even as a baby. Was so cute. Also, Claudia, I can't forget her. She was so unproblematic as a baby. Like, she wouldn't fight. She had her nipple and like she would nurse regularly, gain weight regularly compared to Charlie who is huge now, but skinny, and he would just not gain weight regularly. It was so stressful. She used to be unproblematic, and now she is awful all the time. Love her, but she is awful. And <laughs> as a baby, this is her again, 24 hours. She was so loud. I barely ever hear her meowing on camera. I've been trying to catch them meowing and now I have one clip of Chunky, but like she rarely ever do and it's so soft, but yeah, as a baby, <laughs> she was so loud. Anyway, um, got distracted by the babies, uh, but the books, I'm 300 something pages into the other book. It's over there, I don't wanna move. Um, honestly, it's not what I thought it was going to be. It's 100% my fault. I went into it thinking it was going to be more, I don't know, less, I don't want to say manly because it's not, 
I don't know how to explain that vibe, but like it's clearly written by a man that used to read books from the 90s or something. <laughs> it's the vibe. The writing is just dry and like a lot of description, a lot of like, I feel my eyes just doing this while I'm reading the descriptions of the stuff. And like, it's not that I don't like sci-fi. It's probably my favorite genre, but like, I just, anyway, uh, I'm going to finish it because I'm still intrigued, but it's not what I thought it was going to be there. Uh, so obviously I've been reading this and I am currently, oh, there you go. Chapter 28, um, been making some great progress. It's so painful. There's some of the quotes. I don't even know if people would relate that much, but one of the things that really sticks with me is like all the quotes about motherhood or relationship, like weddings, marriage in those circumstances, the fact that she's looking at, she, she's 17. So she's looking at all the older women that are maybe 10, 20 years older, yet they look so much older because of what they've been going through. You know, when you're poor and uneducated and you have to marry one of the few men that are there, you're not necessarily going to be very happy and all those pregnancies and all of that stress of being beaten up by your husband. It's obviously not making them age well. So she's realizing her options are not great. So you you see these quotes. Okay, so I have one. This one is about a relationship. I'm not going to say who to not spoil it, but you can <laughs> anyway. For her whole life, she would sacrifice to him every quality of her own, and he wouldn't even be aware of the sacrifice. He would be surrounded by the wealth of feeling, intelligence, imagination that were hers without knowing what to do with them. He wouldn't ruin them. So basically, not a very happy relationship. The fact that like he would just take it for granted, you know? So there are a few quotes like that that break my heart. This book is honestly painful to read. Like, this is the kind of book that you're like, why are you doing this to yourself? But I do think that this is the kind of book I used to read as a teenager. They make you feel something. And clearly it's a thing that I like to do. I read a lot of really dark books, but because they make me feel something, okay? I don't want to feel dead inside, although it kind of does make you feel dead afterwards, but I'm enjoying it. Um, I can't put it down. I need to know. I'm going to continue and I'm going to do the same with the rest of the series, I think, in the upcoming weeks because I, I need to binge read it during the summer because it screams summer. Like right now, she's at the beach. So like, yeah, I'm really loving this. It's so painful, but I'm really loving this. It's making the other book more bearable. Like it's not awful. I feel like I'm making it sound really awful, which kind of is compared to this, but it's not... It's not what I thought, so I feel like my expectations are part problem, but it's just not my cup of tea. They're so big. Look, he's the whole length of the couch. <laughs> Why is my elbow looking so weird? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, look at him. He's the whole length of the couch. I need to measure them. He's so long. So long. And you're such a tiny, tiny, tiny baby. Look, look at the head. The size compared to... <laughs> I need to stop bullying my kittens, but that is the benefit of kittens over babies. I can bully them. They don't know. They don't know. Sorry, I'm chewing. Um, I forgot to mention one thing about the book. I'm sweating. It's been so hot. Um, <laughs> I, can see them. I forgot to mention one thing about the sci-fi book. I think what's not helping too is that because I'm not super invested military and all that stuff but also not invested emotionally i don't care about anyone i hate all the characters except michael i think is it michael Mikael? however you pronounce it he's the only decent dude and the female characters are still dudes um the only person that i'm interested in and he's not important so yeah by the way this is where claudia has been this whole time <laughs> her neck that can't be that cannot be like, what is this? <laughs> Let's go see her. She's gonna wake up though. But like, what is this? That cannot feel good. That cannot feel good. Are you okay, baby? Claudia. Oh, oh, look at that ear. There you go. Oh, big stretch. You're so cute. Oh, someone is jealous. Are you jealous? Are you jealous? I can't give anyone else attention, huh? He's so cute. <gasps> Kitty. 
Can you hear him? You're so cute. Look at his belly though. You're the only one with some chunk of chunk. Oh, you're so cute. I still can't get over this. Do you do you not understand? Look how big he is. I have long fingers. Like you're huge. Thank you, IKEA. Look at him. So just his body, not even his paws, his legs, I mean, is at least 18 inches. He's so big. So handsome too. Look at him. He has kind of orangey eyes. I cannot wait to edit his pictures during Halloween. He's going to be perfect for it. Hi, Claudia. Anyway, I I'm done for real now. <laughs> Look at the heads. There you go. Look at the heads. He has a tiny, tiny head and he has a huge <laughs> and so big what is going on oh i love them so much look at them by the way did i tell you my talent i don't know if you've seen those videos of people um um trying to figure out which cat is which while they are blind folded i can easily do that i mean mama cat it doesn't count she's much bigger what are you doing this little hay hole Charlie, I thought the, you were the nice one. Has been doing his nail on my furniture. Yeah. I thought the other one was going to do the same thing. <laughs> I was pissed. Okay. Uh, I can tell which one is which without looking. Easily. So Mama is obviously the biggest one. Doesn't count. But the three kittens, easy. Um, you have Charlie, the little AO right now. He is completely different. Not just visually or facially. His body is different. It's pure muscle. <laughs> it's just, you grab him and he feels solid. Like, you know when you grab a baby and they're like, they're so stiff? This is Charlie. Charlie. I grab Chunky. No bones. None. Pure jello. Completely jello. He's trying to climb. Oh my gosh. And then for the difference between Chunky and, um, I don't know if you can hear him. He's begging for attention. Needy baby. Um, stop causing trouble they just woke up from their nap so they're obviously insufferable i need to exhaust them before bed um and obviously between chunky and claudia it's easy because chunky has a belly <laughs> claudia is tiny charlie too they're like skin and bones and then chunky you has a little, little bit of a belly which makes them even f more fun to like cuddle with because Anyway, I just thought I would share you with you <laughs> my talent. I was very proud of myself when I realized I can easily do that. Like, not even like cheating and like trying to count the toes or something because Charlie has no thumbs, right? No, don't even need that. Just holding him two seconds, I can tell you this is Charlie. <laughs> Come here. Oh. oh my God, this is Charlie. He has become a snuggle bug and he's purring. He loves me, finally. Who would have thought? Little baby. Actually, huge. Huge. He's the biggest one. Look how huge he is. You're a full grown cat. Yeah, you're a full grown cat. He's so handsome. Look at him. Look at them. He's all black though, and it's pretty dark, but yeah. They're freaking out still because if you haven't seen my July TBR, um, I had the fire alarm that started freaked me out because I had an electrical fire in this house three years ago so obviously nervous uh, but no it turns out just because it's like 90% humidity so yeah let me turn off the AC actually now we can hear ourselves so yes they're, they're very freaked out still from uh, the alarm <laughs> I was freaked out okay let's talk about the books um, unfortunately I am such a doo-doo head and I thought I had one more day left to finish the audiobook um, the social socialism one i will have to wait until the people in front of me finish it uh, before i can finish it but it's so short that hopefully soon because i don't want it to be on my pile of shame oh my god that was a mistake look at my dress that was a mistake so uh yes that's that i won't be able to finish it for this vlog but the other books i am still reading about like 50 pages a day to finish this book Again, it's not that I'm not enjoying it. It's just, oh my God, Claudia, stop, stop playing with my dress. You 
little demon. Um, it just, I can't binge read this book, but I need one more day. So tonight I'm going to finish it. Uh, I'm at page 407, chapter 54, and I'm enjoying it. But to be completely honest, this is really not my kind of book. It's too military, like US versus Russia for me. It's not my jam. But I do like the whole trope of like, oh, someone in the spaceship is the enemy. We don't know who, at least in the beginning. So don't eat my book. I don't know if you can see. Thank you, Claudia. Um, every single one of my books now is personalized because we remember Charlie ate this one too. <sighs> I'm still so nervous from earlier. I feel so jumpy. Anyway, um, so yes, I, I will finish this today. Overall, it's okay, just not my jam. This one, so depressing. I can't stop. Like. I do enjoy it, but I understand why some of the people don't, but there's just something about watching these two friends being friends, but not really, and just trying to escape their miserable life, but feeling very discouraged by it because they don't have that much control over them. But yes, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> the cats are enjoying distracting me. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna do my things and finish these, well, finish one at least. I thought I would finish like three books because things were going so well, but I'm, I'm aiming for one now. We reduced the expectations and it's okay, it's okay. At least none of them I hate. That's already a huge progress for me. Guys, you can't all fit on me. You can't all fit on me. You're, he's so needy now. Don't get me wrong, Ow. I like it, but like, you're so needy. So, so needy. No. Claudia, stop eating my dress. Okay, I'm gonna go change because she's gonna attack me all day. I finished a book and I think this would have made a good movie. I feel like a lot of people would enjoy very action-packed spy pew-pew action that I wouldn't have watched. <laughs> I... I didn't hate it, I just don't feel like it's for me. I, I've said that like 50 times already, so I think I'm gonna give it three stars, which sounds really low. I think a lot of people will enjoy it, but I am not people. So yeah, I'm done. I did it. Um, I'm gonna be able to start reading this one tonight. I also wanted to mention, I don't think I've mentioned it, I started the audiobook, um, A High We Can Go to Dark? I don't know. It's a post-apocalyptic book, and I didn't know what it was about. I completely forgot, and so far I'm enjoying it. It's quite dark, which is clearly my thing, but kind of chill. Um, I just read the part, or listened to the part, where the second point of view, this guy works at a park, roller coaster park thingy, and children that are affected by this disease that they found under the, the eyes blah 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 because we're dumb and you know we do that um it's affecting children and like they go to that park to get unalive <laughs> i was listening to that i was like why am i listening to that but i'm kind of enjoying it so i'll keep you updated a lot of you said that you really love that one so i will tell you hopefully soon so that's going to be it for the vlog. Not too bad. Nothing. Nothing with this plan. But th this is more realistic, I feel like. So I will be seeing you soon.